In the infinite dark sea of space, beyond the last whisper of sunlight, a lone traveler drifts silently. It's not a spaceship crewed by astronauts, nor a probe with a return ticket. It's Voyager 2, an old but persistent messenger launched by humanity nearly five decades ago. Most people believe that after crossing the boundary of our solar system, it simply became a silent observer, whispering back signals from the edge of the void. But now, something has changed. Voyager 2 has seen something. Something that was never supposed to move. Something that wasn't supposed to be there. For years, its journey through the interstellar medium had been uneventful. Just particles, magnetic fields, and cosmic silence. Until the silence broke. Until emotion, deliberate and unmistakable, was caught drifting in the darkness. Something moving with purpose. And when scientists on Earth decoded the strange anomalies Voyager 2 transmitted, a chilling realization began to settle over them. What we feared deep down might actually be true. Voyager 2 had long passed the planets, past Neptune, past Pluto, past the helipause, the invisible line where our sun's influence fades and interstellar space begins. Out there, it was expected to drift quietly, picking up minor fluctuations in space dust and solar radiation. But instead, it picked up movement, the kind of movement that doesn't happen by chance. At first, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory noticed what they thought was a blip in the plasma wave data, a spike that lasted only seconds. These instruments are incredibly sensitive and usually report on changes in particle densities or interactions with magnetic fields. But this time, the signal carried a strange signature. It pulsed in a rhythm. It wasn't just data. It felt like a pattern, not natural, not random. Engineers thought perhaps it was interference, maybe a glitch due to cosmic rays or even system degradation. After all, Voyager 2 is nearly 50 years old. But when the same signal repeated and with increased strength, they knew something was wrong or perhaps very right. Because the data wasn't noise, it was a broadcast. Voyager 2 had seen something, and it had recorded it. When the data was cleaned up and analyzed, something emerged that sent a ripple through the scientific community. There was an object approximately 500,000 kilometers from the probe, moving at a velocity inconsistent with any known natural body in that region. No asteroid belts, no rogue planets, no expected comets. And yet this thing, whatever it was, was not just drifting. It was tracking. The direction of movement was toward the same vector that Voyager 2 was traveling. The object speed adjusted slightly in a way that mimicked Voyager's trajectory. Imagine a predator stalking silently in the wake of its prey, adjusting its movements just enough to stay in range but not enough to provoke suspicion. NASA scientists weren't alone in their panic. Independent astronomers and military observers, especially those involved in deep space tracking, were pulled in. They confirmed it. It wasn't a malfunction. The plasma density readings, the magnetometer anomalies, even slight fluctuations in the probe's gyroscopic data all pointed to a single conclusion. Voyager 2 had company. And that company might not be benign. Perhaps the most terrifying revelation came not from what Voyager 2 saw, but from what it sent back. A radio frequency burst, piggybacked onto the regular telemetry feed contained a digital signal that had no origin in Voyager's own systems. It wasn't programmed to send this, but it did. When decrypted, the packet of data contained a series of binary strings that, when plotted visually, formed patterns almost like glyphs. Not natural cosmic waves, not background noise. These were constructed deliberately. Some likened them to crop circle geometry, others to symbols seen in early human history. Spirals, intersections, recursive loops. A group of AI linguists and astrophysicists ran the data through contextual analysis algorithms. The results were horrifying. The structure of the signal matched what we would expect from an intentional transmission, not from Voyager, but from something else. Something that had either hijacked or embedded itself in the signal stream. Whether it was a warning or a message, no one could say for sure, but the implications were clear. Voyager 2 wasn't alone in deep space, and what encounter might have noticed us back. The scientific community is divided. Some argue this is the evidence we've been waiting for, proof that we're not alone. Others are less optimistic, worried that this is a signal of surveillance or worse. Prelude. In past decades, 
the thought of extraterrestrial life was mostly relegated to exoplanet discoveries and faint signals from distant stars. But this, this was close, and it wasn't passive. What makes this discovery even more chilling is the timing. Similar anomalies were observed in data from Voyager 1 just months before, but were dismissed as static interference. Now, those readings are being reviewed under a new light, and many believe we've been too blind, too arrogant to consider the most terrifying explanation that someone or something has been watching us longer than we dare to admit. And now, they've made contact as Voyager 2's instruments continue to capture data. A team at the Deep Space Network receive an unfiltered stream of electromagnetic readings, frequencies oscillating in patterns they had never encountered before. At first, analysts thought it could be interference, cosmic rays, a background fluctuation. But when the team isolated the signal and enhanced its waveforms, what emerged stunned them, a structured sequence pulsing with mathematical precision, almost as if it were artificial. Scientists ran a Fourier analysis. What they saw mirrored the base harmonic frequencies of hydrogen, but inverted a deliberate alteration of the universe's most abundant element. What could that possibly mean? The signal wasn't just noise. It was trying to speak. The team cross-referenced the signal's path with Voyager 2's trajectory, only to discover that this movement had shifted. It wasn't random. It was tracking the probe, digging into the archives, and in turn at NASA stumbled upon decades-old telemetry from Voyager 1. When comparing the data, a disturbing alignment emerged. In the exact same region of interstellar space, decades apart, Voyager 1 had experienced a brief data anomaly nearly identical to Voyager 2's recent findings. But back then, the disruption had been dismissed as static. Now, in hindsight, it looked like a first encounter. Scientists revisited the Voyager 1 logs and applied modern AI-powered decoding tools to the signal distortions. The result, the waveform matched the current event almost perfectly. This was no coincidence. Something or someone was waiting in the void, and it had encountered both Voyager probes. The implication, this was not the first time we'd been noticed. Using precise modeling, the team mapped the anomaly's motion. It didn't follow gravitational arcs like a comet or asteroid. Instead, its trajectory bent unnaturally, as if warping space-time itself to remain hidden. Every simulation failed to replicate its path using known physics. Worse still... The object seemed to accelerate and decelerate at will, hovering on the edge of visibility, just beyond the reach of standard optical instruments. NASA scientists described its behavior as reactive, meaning it only moved in response to Voyager's transmissions. Was it listening, learning, or was it trying to avoid being seen altogether? Some began to question, what if Voyager 2 didn't just discover this object? It provoked it. While the object remained visually elusive, the probe's magnetometer started to register rapid magnetic flux changes, shifts so sharp that they suggested active manipulation of electromagnetic fields. Around the world, conspiracy theories ignited, claiming Voyager 2 had made contact with interstellar intelligence. But it wasn't just theories. A former JPL engineer leaked an internal report suggesting that the anomaly's field disruptions resembled torus-shaped energy distortions, similar to those produced by theoretical alkybire drives or warp fields. Had Voyager stumbled upon something way beyond our understanding, something capable of folding the very fabric of space? The energy patterns weren't fading. They were intensifying. And every pulse, every wave seemed to resonate with one terrifying truth. We are not alone. And we never were. Back on Earth, something even more chilling began to occur. Radio telescopes in Chile, Australia, and South Africa started detecting subtle but repeating echoes of the same distorted frequency that Voyager 2 had recorded. These echoes were faint, buried beneath the hum of background cosmic radiation, but they shared one alarming characteristic. They pulse in perfect synchrony with the transmission delays of Voyager 2's deep space signals. It was as if something out there was mirroring the probe's activity. Analysts called this the phantom pulse. Attempts to triangulate the source were inconclusive, but one thing became undeniable. This was not localized anomaly. Whatever was out there, it had found a way to project its presence across vast regions of space simultaneously. The pattern wasn't just intelligent, it was strategic, as if designed to be noticed, 
But only once humanity was ready to tee this point, the conversation within classified scientific circles shifted from what is it to a more disturbing question, why now? Voyager 2 had been drifting silently for nearly five decades, its journey expected to fade into the cosmic background. But now, just as artificial intelligence and quantum decoding reached maturity on Earth, the anomaly decided to respond. Was this a coincidence or an invitation? Some theorize that the object wasn't simply reacting to Voyager's presence, but to Earth's technological advancement that had been silently waiting, observing, and now, when humanity had the tools to decipher its message, it finally made its move. Governments imposed media blackouts. Private observatories were quietly shut down. Even some AI researchers were reportedly taken off their projects without explanation. Behind closed doors, the question echoed louder than ever. Did Voyager 2 trigger first contact, or did it awaken something we were never meant to find? In the end, Voyager 2 wasn't just a messenger from Earth. It became the trigger of a revelation that shattered our sense of cosmic solitude. The mysterious moving structure, the mirror transmissions, the encoded frequencies, none of it fits into the tidy boxes of human science. Something or someone is out there, not billions of light years away, but lurking in the shadows of our own solar system, watching, waiting, and perhaps the most terrifying part, they chose now to respond. Not when Voyager launched, not when it passed Neptune, but now, when our species finally reached the technological threshold needed to understand. The question isn't whether we're alone anymore. The real question is, what have we just woken up? Stay alert, because the story is far from over. The next signal could come at any moment. And the next discovery might not just change what we know about the universe. It might change who we are.